Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with my photo borders. Uh, I have a new design that I'd like to uh, go over and demonstrate for you guys, uh, show you how it can be used. It's got uh, several different options available and uh, so we have um, this one is called uh, Stadium Tunnel Player Edition. I also have another design called Stadium Tunnel Team Edition. So they are two separate designs and uh, one is designed to um, highlight the player whereas the other template is designed to show a player and a team. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I already have a player in here and, and I want to show you how to uh, change out the, uh, the wall banners. So let's go ahead and start here at the bottom. Uh, if you notice I've got several layers unchecked. So as we're going through this template uh, to be able to use certain features you'll need to check them or uncheck them and uh, make sure that if you're using the bottom two that all of these in the green and purple are unchecked above it so uh, this layer is where we have our tunnel and directly above it uh, you'll see this purple layer that says double click to change the banner uh, this is for any banner that you may be using a two to three ratio design so for example, if you're using the uh, banners from our website that are the 48 by 72 or 16 by 24 banners, uh, anything along the line of a two to three ratio, um, you can drop in here uh, on the wall. So the way you update that is, this is a smart object, so uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, CS4 or above is required. This will not work in elements. So. So the way to update it is if you'll just double click uh, on the little um, icon here, the little smart object icon, it's going to open a new document. And if you'll notice, uh, I have my banner right here. And you'll see where it says place image above here. So you basically will just drag your design, your flattened image uh, of whatever design you're working on. Just drag it over here. Uh, and then you're going to uh, close this file out and then whatever you place in this document is going to update on the wall um, so let's go ahead and close it out and let's go up to the next uh, feature so like I say this one is for a two to three ratio banner the uh, next banner is going to be for a four to five ratio so what you'll do is you'll click on this next tunnel Okay, and you notice that the banner is a little bit shorter. And then you'll click on the smart object. So this is a 4 to 5 ratio banner. So if you're using anything along the lines of a 16 by 20, this will be uh, the one that you want to turn on. So the other two that's under it, you can turn them off or turn them on. It doesn't really matter uh, because this is overlaying the other. It's not going to affect the one below it. So same way to update the uh, banner, just double click on the smart object, uh, here you go, and it's going to replace it. So uh, just to give you an example, I've got another image up under here. So if I uncheck this image, you'll see that this is not the correct player, but if I save this, and I'm going to do a control S to save it, when I go back to my design you'll see that the banner was updated automatically so we'll come back here reset the player I'm going to close this document hit save yes and it's going to update for you so uh, pretty easy to update uh, it can be I mean you can put anything in there it can be a template design that you've worked on it could be um, a logo it could be um, to be just a standard photo it's really it's, it's your uh, you're very flexible so whatever you like to use it for so uh, let's move on to the next um, feature the next feature here is I have a tunnel without a wall banner okay um, so it's actually without a wall banner and it doesn't have a uh, a wall light above the banner where the banner was um, so you can use it just like this um, if you go to the next layer um, you'll see that I have a wall banner 
with an overhead light. So I did them both ways so that you can have an option whether you want the light on it or the light off. Uh, these two uh, layers here, if you notice, I've got them labeled uh, tunnel without wall banner used for wall logo. So if you decide you don't want to use the um, the banners that were actually hanging on the wall and you just want to maybe place a logo on the brick uh, on concrete, you can do that as well. So that's uh, going to be this purple layer that says uh, double click to change wall logo. So I'm going to turn this on. Uh, I've got the um, their Hornets logo on there. So I've added a, a little more lighting for this. Um, just a little more wall glow just to make the uh, logo pop a little bit. So you want to make sure that you turn this on as well. If you notice, I'm going to turn it on and off. It just kind of gives you a little more illumination on the logo. Makes it pop a little better. Um, so just remember, if you go back to using any of these uh, other ones below, make sure you uncheck the ones above it okay like I say whatever's below it is okay to be on but just make sure the ones above or whatever you're using is unchecked so let's go back to where we're at all right so we have our wall logo here and uh, I want to show you how to update that real quick as well so it's pretty much the same principle uh, I've got the layer highlighted in purple it's a smart object layer you're going to double click on it there's your logo okay so if you notice I have a guideline here so rule of thumb is for this uh, placement is to keep your logo below the uh, guideline uh, and also I prefer to have the logo shifted to the left uh, that way it kind of brings it forward uh, to the to the left of the wall a little bit uh, if you slide it to the right it's going to slide back further and uh, I think it looks better if you keep it to the left but I just want to kind of give you a quick example uh, of how you can change this out. So I'm going to um, hide this logo real quick. And actually, I have a vector logo I'm just going to play around with here. So we can take um, this vector logo here. And I'm going to copy, go back to Photoshop. I'm going to paste this. And we're going to scale it up. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, add a logo, create a logo, add text, or whatever you want. Uh, so let's say we're going to put that logo there. And so let's assume this team is the Bears and not the Hornets. Uh, even if you wanted to add text, um, you could come in here and let's say we'll pop in Bears. Okay, let's uh, get a font going on here and let's see. Let's try athletic. All right, let's scale this up a little bit. All right, so maybe let's put, let's put a little arch on it here. We'll say a little bit of arc. Somewhat presentable. Um, let's put a little more arch on it. Okay, that's close enough. All right, so let's say we want to um, use this, something similar to this, and you want text on there as well. So I'm going to take both of these layers and I'm going to slide them to the left like I recommended. Uh, keep it to the left and let's bring it down below the line Alright, so let's save this real quick. I'm gonna hit uh, control s On my windows and if you go back, we're going to see what happens presto. So there we go So uh, it's going to uh, transform it to the wall uh, via the smart object and uh, I'm going to display it. So it's so pretty much whatever logo you've got you can throw at it um, and if for some reason it's, you know, I know every logo is going to be different shapes and sizes, but um, so what you can do is um, just remember, let me open this back up. You have a little bit of flexibility here. So, you know, if you need to scale a logo down, small, or for some reason, 
you know, just stay within this area and stay below the blue line there. So let's get rid of this, go back to our original logo, hit save, close it out, and then go back with our logo. So that's pretty much how the uh, smart objects and all the layers that I have built in works. Uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty uh, uh, self-explainable. Uh, the text, of course, uh, I'm sure most of you guys understand how to edit text. Uh, if you do not, uh, I just generally double click on the T that highlights the text and then you can just retype whatever you want. Uh, the faded stripe at the bottom, uh, you can change this color as well uh, to match your team. Um, and I think that's really about it. So that pretty much covers the template. There's a couple little um, extra uh, camera flashes and light flares we have on the background back here. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So that is the player edition. So let me go grab the uh, team edition real quick. Like I say, the team edition is a separate template, um, but it falls in line with the player edition. So let me zoom up a little bit. Okay, so uh, same concept, same principles. Um, I'm not gonna go through it completely as we did the other one because it is pretty much the same design. Uh, except different wall banners. So if you come here, you'll notice that uh, same thing. We have our two to three ratio banner. Um, and let me change the model. There we go. Two to three ratio banner. Um, for this girl, we have the uh, four to five ratio, which is like I say, your 16 by 20 uh, format. And then once again, we have uh, the tunnel without any extra lighting, uh, nothing on the wall. We have the tunnel uh, with the above lighting, and we have, once again, our logo as we did on our uh, player banner, and we have additional lighting to illuminate the uh, logo as well. So if you don't use the uh, above lighting uh, here, you could like I say, you might can turn on the wall glow, maybe not. It just, it doesn't kind of really, I mean, it does that little glow, but there's a little bit of edge here, so I'm not sure that it's going to be realistic enough for you. But uh, the um, the extra glow is really made for the, uh, the uh, wall lap above it. So that's pretty much it. Um, everything updates the same way as the player banner does. Um, logo, banners, everything. Pretty much the same, uh, except just different format. So uh, that's it. Um, if you have any questions uh, pertaining to this template or run into any problems, always remember that we do provide uh, free remote support for any of our customers that need help. Just uh, give us a call and we can schedule a time. Uh, that's all I have, and I hope you enjoy this template. Thank you very much.